Hello to my Geminis. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your first quarter moon phase in Aries. That's right, Gemini. Right before this moon was in Aries, it was in Pisces. And that's where your emotions could have been all over the place. So if you felt like your emotions were all over the place this weekend, that may have been why. Let's get it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let us see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. All right. All right. All right. Gemini's. Hopefully you all are continuing to set your intentions every single day. Seven of pentacles came seven of pentacles came out in reverse. Yeah, hopefully you all are um, setting your intentions every single day, you know, Gemini's and springing forward and not falling back. Somebody is still asking why about something, something that somebody may have spent some time on and somebody's still asking kind of sort of why. And sources are saying to, to turn this up, turn this seven of pentacles to um, upright, to turn it upright. So it's really wants you to start your meditation process, right? So there's many different ways to learn how to start meditating. Um, and there's tons of books, tons of videos and those kind of things. Um, I, you know, would say start with music, like high vibrational music. Um, and to just get yourself the vibration of sound, get yourself prepared, your spirit prepared to be able to receive, to kind of meditate on some things. Here we also have the King of Pentacles, which is the, the wealthiest card in the deck. The source is trying to prepare somebody for an enormous amount of wealth. And so that's making good use of all 24 hours in your day, right? Not listening to this and listening to that and any negative reports about the energy of, you know, the currency, whatever the currency is in your country. Here we have the high priestess. Your intuition is extremely heightened. And so source is saying when you're weighing the, the pros and cons of things and you're trying to decide uh, what you want to give time to, one of the things is that somebody will have a breakthrough when they sail away from the depth of disappointment concerning two situations. When you finally decide, hey, I need to move on from this because overthinking it is giving me a headache. It's giving me a headache and it's causing you to leave your inner child um, like this, right? You know, like it's like a person who's just like, okay, well, I can't even have fun until I get the question why answered, why about money situation answered. And it's two situations in particular that source has been saying, I need you to move on from, I need you to move on from these situations and uh, whatever they are, you know, two types of situations. It could be two people, two places, two things. It could be a person, a place, a place, a thing, you know, whatever it is that when you think about it and you've been asking yourself, why, 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 um, in one area of your life, just know that it has been affecting someone's money. And so, and it could cause you to have, because again, somebody's just been just kind of going along with the flow of things. So part of it is to stop talking about certain things. That's part of it. And when you have thoughts about it, okay, I, need, I immediately need to switch my thought to something else because I'm leaving my inner child neglected. And so it's wants you to be in this space right here. Here we have the 10 of cups. So a good idea to, to be around some energies. Here we have the, um, the three and three and four of cups is definitely tempting. So if you're around people who are still talking about things and it's a toxic conversation, talking about the time you may have invested in some things, people, places, and things, even if it's, you know, the, the time that you've invested in an ex love interest or a job you may have worked on. So it's just saying, okay, now it's time to spring forward. The moon is in Aries. Aries symbolizes the Begin on the beginning of the spring equinox. And so it's time to spring forward and not fall back into overwhelming belief systems. I believe I spent so much time on that job and I could have been on another job and, and I can't believe all X, Y, and Z. So it's just said, okay, believe it. You know, that moon in Pisces, Pisces is the I believe sign and it's the most compassionate sign. So source is saying the symbol are two fish tied together, swimming in opposite directions. So you don't want to go backwards and then fall into escapism. You want to spring forward and towards a more blissful life, right? So you're going to have to sacrifice something. That's where your breakthrough is going to come in. So whatever anxiety somebody may have been feeling, the anxiety will be going away very, very soon. Something is over. Here we have the death card. So somebody's finally saying, hey, listen, I know my heart is in the right place. It looks like somebody comes from a long line. I'm going to show you what I'm seeing in the card. It looks like somebody comes from a long line. If you can see all the way back there, a possibly loved ones who may be spiritual leaders in some way, they really roots for the underdog, like maybe the motherless child or um, 
maybe a, a teen mom or a widow or the person who is down at their lowest frequency. It's like your energy comes to show them that there's a rebirth on the other side to offer them hope, right? And so I see that somebody has a good heart. Somebody is also highly creative. So source is saying, don't cut into your creativity and don't cut into your joy because you may have felt like you've been manipulated by family. Family could be um, somebody you married. It could be somebody you were engaged to. It could be blood relative, family. Like don't, don't cut into your own wealth, like your time in a day, time slash money, because you are possibly grieving the end of something when there's a rebirth energy never dies even for our loved ones who have transitioned yes that's difficult when our loved ones have transitioned but there's a lot of people who may create altars and things like that and a death not just as a physical sense it could be like the death of a job death of a romantic relationship death of a friendship you know i think people kind of sort of dismiss that and just kind of like oh that friendship is over you can go find another friend uh, no, not necessarily. You know, you can't, that, that energy has held, held some time and space or like death of a job, like the ending of a job, you know? So, um, yeah. So it's really wants you to focus on, you know, moving forward. Here we have the five of wands. Here we have the moon card. Here we have the chariot card, the high priestess, the knight of swords, and also the page of cups. The moon card. So source definitely wants you to leave something in the past, a belief system in the past, right? Maybe the belief system is, you know, kind of stuck on something that you don't have gifts. Maybe start, you know, and then read up on psychic, clairvoyance, claircognizance, clairsentience, clairaudience gifts, Gemini's, and just see, you know, I'm, I'm quite sure somebody has a lot of gifts and talents, but they may be stuck in a particular belief system, you know, that... That was, you know, your family may have believed. High Priestess energy is coming out twice. So further reiterating, here we have the Knight of Swords. So it definitely needs somebody to get locked in and laser focused, like more ambitious, more driven, you know, and to stay focused, right? Here we have the Page of Cups. Some good news is definitely coming across somebody's path. We also have the Chariot card. So the Source is actually rewarding you for moving forward. Yeah. Like when you take the, when you say, okay, I'm taking the high road and I'm moving forward, I'm going to stop talking about certain things. I'm going to stop other people from talking about something. Five of wands lets me know that somebody was definitely battling like some internal battles. As you have an idea, somebody strikes a match and say, oh, guess what? I have an idea about such and such that source told you to move on from and somebody else comes back and they talk about they have an idea about something and source told you to move on, right? So that's where you stop the conversation and say, mm -mm, not talking about that job, not talking about certain family members, not talking about certain exes, not talking about that. I'm springing forward. I'm not moving back to that because I'm not using my any ounce of the 24 hours in my day to even talk about that. Nope, not doing it. Not me. No way, no how, right? So here we go. Moon in Aries. So here are the questions for those of you all who like the questions. First question is, are you struggling with low self-worth? Second question is, are you procrastinating, perhaps stuck in a relationship or situation at home or at work that you're not happy with? The third question is, are you repressing your emotions and feelings and consequently feeling resentful? The fourth question is, are you holding yourself back, paralyzed in unconscious fear that stops you from taking the leap into the unknown? And then last but not least is, if you'd known that you were fully supported, what would you do? If you had known that you were fully supported, what would you do? What would you do? What would you do? And you have a lot of ancestors that are supporting you to move on. You look like you have a lot of gifts and talents. But Source definitely wants to put you around some fresh creative water. And if you don't know what I mean by that, that's people who are, let's say for instance, because all of that is right in that sacral chakra energy that, you know, you want to be around energies that add to your joy, not cut into your joy energies that add to your creativity, adaptability, sensuality, fertility, emotional range, and sexuality, not people who cut into that, right? And it doesn't even matter if it's somebody cutting into it directly or indirectly. You don't even want to bring that into the conversation because it's taking up some of your 24 hours in a day and it'll have you on a dark side of the number seven asking why, why don't they get it? Why don't they understand that my heart is in the right place and why don't they get it? Why? So it's to say, okay, 
move on from that and start the process because you still have purpose. Remember the sun illuminates the moon. That would be like your sun sign, even though I'm talking to you, if you have Gemini anywhere in your birth chart, but your sun sign, your sun actually illuminates the moon and everything centers around that. So when you start doing things to nurture your spirit, that's your moon sign, whatever that may be, Gemini, since it's a general reading, and you look at the other placements, Saturn, Uranus, Pluto, Jupiter, you know, all the other planets, and you say, everything is aligning to make sure I get up just like this sun outside of me to rise and shine every single day. So why am I giving so much energy to something from the past and all of that anxiety, right? So Source has been trying to tell somebody for the longest time to move on from something. You're going through a rite of passage. You're going through a transition. But for some reason, it looks like every time somebody else brings it up, or somehow triggers, somebody goes into, and I know part of it is because you're ruled by the communication planet, but sources and your energy is directed outward. So it's just said, just stop talking about it altogether. Like let people know that you're trying to heal from some things. Like if they really love you and care about you, Hey, I don't want to talk about that anymore. Or they were, well, I just had to tell you, no, no, I don't want to hear about it. No, nope, don't want to hear about it. I'm trying to heal. I don't want to devote any of my 24 hours in a day to that at all. Cause think about it like this, Gemini's. Somebody brings up something that was traumatic, like a sword cut. Somebody cut, you know, which may, can mean a lot of things. Now you get off the phone. They gone on about their life. They dump that trash into your ear gate. Now you got to sit there and sift through the trash. And, and now because you all are, um, you love to learn. Now you're sitting there analyzing it. How long is that going to go on? You may even take that to bed with you. If you don't know how to wash this energy off of you, then yeah, you can take it throughout the day, the next day, the whole week. Next thing you know, you've devoted more time to it than you thought. You could have been putting that creativity in something else, those emotions into something exciting, right? So yeah, that's what Source is trying to get somebody to do is just kind of sort of steer away from, you know, people who are, you know, not really helping you heal, they're adding to your, you know, adding to any distractions, you know, unhealthy distractions. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah. So happy first quarter moon. So first quarter moon is about, you know, um, if you say, for instance, in a new moon, when that new moon that we had January the 11th, no longer am I going to be devoting my thoughts or my talking or communication to things that have hurt me, the new me, this is the year of wealth. I need to purge that part of myself. So it says, good, purge that part of yourself. Stop entertaining it and stop entertaining by talking and overthinking it. Those could be the two things that you're leaving behind and say, the rebirth me, if it's, if it's, if it's not adding to my joy, my creativity, my sensuality, sexuality, my fertility, then it's taking away from it. So yeah, here we go. One, adjust your crown. And then two, your peace is paramount. And that is the double truth. <laughs> your peace is paramount. All of somebody bringing information to you? Mm -mm. Nope. They bring in something to you that's not adding to? Okay, so how does that help my day? How does that help my business? How does that help me to learn something that's going to you know, align with my purpose to help change other people's life? How's it going to add to my resources that's going to help change other? And see, money is not the only resource, but how is it going to add to my resources that's going to help change other people's lives? Now, somebody's calling you because they heard that a friend of yours needs a job and they're hiring. That's different, right? But if they're calling you to gossip about somebody, that's not, like I said, that's not helping you to adjust your crown. Here we have rooted 26, two and six is eight. Eight is the money exchange number. Again, you are crystal clear. You're getting away from energies who are on the dark side of the number eight, which people who are, have succumbed to passive and powerless behavior and people who are, um, energies that are, um, egotistical, materialistic, and forceful. I don't want to be around those types of energies at all, period. I don't. That's that's behind me. I need to get away from those types of energies. Yep. All right. Let's see what your number is and let's go ahead and close this out. So hopefully that helps somebody, you know, to really, really just be able to move on. I'm telling you, this is a year of wealth and it's going to be real tempting for a lot of people to really move beyond um, some things. There we go. 888. I am abundant. So as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. 888. 
that's it that's it that's it that is what i have for you hopefully that helps you gemini's but again the king of pentacles came out somebody could be asking right now about their money situation and sources because there's some things that source told you to move away from and somebody is still still somehow entertaining it through your thoughts and of course thoughts come through your, our mind all the time but we also have the choice to change courses too. something negative come, let me change it to something positive so i can move forward that's what i have for you and that's what source is going to reward you for moving forward listening to your intuition as it relates to um your personal and your professional life like really paying attention to your intuition and a good, another good idea too, Gemini's, is to journal. That's also a good idea too, because a lot of times when you're like really learning how to test your gifts, you're like, okay, I don't know, I got a lot of thoughts going on in my head. Journal it. Pull, pull out your cell phone and go to your notes section and start journaling something. And so that way you start saying, okay, I can go back and look at my notes and go, oh my God, okay. I now I know how pow more how powerful of a manifester I am. All right, that's what I have for you. I'll see you on Freedom Friday. Again, happy first quarter moon in Aries. Bye.